2 Samuel 5, David becomes king of all Israel. Then all the tribes of Israel went to David at Hebron and told him, We are your own flesh and blood. In the past, when Saul was our king, you were the one who really led the forces of Israel. And the Lord told you, you will be the shepherd of my people, Israel. You will be Israel's leader. So there at Hebron, King David made a covenant before the Lord with all the elders of Israel and they anointed him king of Israel. David was 30 years old when he began to reign and he reigned 40 years in all. He had reigned over Judah from Hebron for seven years and six months and from Jerusalem he reigned over all Israel and Judah for 33 years. David captures Jerusalem. David then led his men to Jerusalem to fight against the Jebusites, the original inhabitants of the land who were living there. The Jebusites taunted David, saying, You'll never get in here. Even the blind and lame could keep you out. For the Jebusites thought they were safe. But David captured the fortress of Zion, which is now called the city of David. On that day of the attack, David said to the, his troops, I hate those lame and blind Jebusites. Whoever attacks them should strike by going into the city through the water tunnel. That is the origin of the saying, the blind and the lame may not enter the house. So David made the fortress his home and he called it the city of David. He extended that the city starting to at the supporting terraces and working inward. And David became more and more powerful because the Lord God of heaven's armies was with him. The king of Hiram of sent messengers to David along with cedar, timber and carpenters and stone masons and they built David a palace and David realized that the Lord has confirmed him as king over Israel and had blessed his kingdom for the sake of his people Israel. After moving from Hebron to Jerusalem, David married more concubines and wives, and they had more sons and daughters. These are the names of David's sons who were born in Jerusalem. Shamwa, Shobab, Nathan, Solomon, Ibra, Elishua, Nepet, Japhia, Elishama, Elida, and Elip, Hilad. David conquers the Philistines. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king of Israel, they mobilized all their forces to capture him. But David was told they were coming, so he went into the stronghold. The Philistines arrived and spread out across the valley of Rephim. So David asked the Lord, Should I go out to fight the Philistines? Will you hand them over to me? The Lord replied to David, Yes, go ahead. I will certainly hand them over to you. So they went to Baal, Parazim, and defeated the Philistines there. The Lord did it, they would explain. He burst through my enemies like a raging flood. So he named that place Baal, Parazim, which means the Lord who burst through. The Philistines had abandoned their idols there, so David and his men confiscated them. But after a while, the Philistines returned and again spread out across the valley of Rephim. And again, they asked the Lord what to do. Do not attack them straight on. The Lord replied, It said, circle around behind and attack them from the poplar trees. When you hear a sound like marching feet in the tops of the poplar trees, be on the alert. That will be a signal that the Lord is moving ahead of you to strike down the Philistines' army. So David did what the Lord commanded and struck down, and he struck down the Philistines all the way from Gibeon to Gaza. This is the word of God.